Hello everybody, how are you doing today? Welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford and today I want to show you how to put text on a path or a mask path and we can make it goofily shaped like it is right now and you can make it fly across the screen or move along the path. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. So let's get started. Now I'm going to delete this uh, one that I have now so we can start from scratch but as you can see I just created a path, moved it around and that's good. So let's start. Delete that out and we're just going to create some new text. Control T for uh, the text tool and click and we'll just write something here and I wrote let's make this text fly across the screen. Now what you need to do is click on your text down here in the layer panel and then just um, zoom out so you can have the whole uh, page showing and take your pen tool and just draw a motion path. Now if you just want to make curves without having to make these uh, um, bezier handles you can click on roto bezier here and it would make your curves for you. I'll just show you real quick again. So click on Roto Bezier and we can just make curves like this. And it makes them nice. It's a little easier than doing it that way, but I never really use Roto Bezier too much because I don't I like having more control over the curves. So now we have a path on the text layer. So let's come down to the text layer here in our layer panel, twirl down, and we've got text, max, masks, and transform. Well we want to go to text. So scroll down to text and now we have this uh, path options here we want to open that up we want to choose our path to be our mask that we just created mask one and now it's on the path well that was easy enough so now we've got it uh, like in a funky looking uh, shape so that's how you can make your different shapes now say you want the uh, shape to be, or the, your text to be in a different part of the shape. Well, that's where you come to. Oh, that's where you come down to here, and you go down to the uh, first margin or the last margin, and you can move it along here. Now, you usually, I think you usually probably want to hold Shift while you're doing this, so it goes across the screen a little better. And uh, if you try to do it without holding shift you might come to the edge of the screen especially when you try to go left you'll, you'll be like pretty much forced to like stop when you hit the edge of your uh, monitor so we got the first margin there that's how you do that and that's animatable so we could if we wanted to hit a keyframe here start this before it comes out or when it's off the screen and come in and then reanimate this so it's all the way at the end and then we've got a nice little animation there oh, my preview panel is like hidden there we go hopefully this doesn't take forever there we go and there you go you can see it like that now I mean that's way too fast you can't even read it but you get the idea that's how you animate it and delete these keyframes so I can show you everything else Let's see, put the margin back in somewhere in the middle. Let's put it at zero, I think. It's probably the middle. So we got our last margin, which is below it. And that's pretty much the same thing. So if we have this here, and then we move this also, they kind of like, they interact with each other a little bit. Pretty much both do the same thing. Now we've got this one called uh, Force Alignment, and if you click on it, it's got an on and off. So if I click on that, it's going to put it across the whole entire text here. And this is where your first margin and last margin uh, make a difference from each other, because you can take now the first margin and bring it in. And then you can also take the last margin and bring it in and bring the letters closer or farther apart. So if you take force alignment off, 
it's going to bring them back back together. So there we go for that. There, put these back to zero. Turn this off. And then we'll go to perpendicular to path. And that's you'll see what that does easily. It makes that, when you take it off, it just makes it go straight up and down. Or the way that you set your text. So turn that off. And then we got reverse path, which just flips it over at the top. This is easy enough. Now you can use a, you can use these all in conjunction with each other to make some uh, different looking paths. You don't have to just have one on and one off and all that stuff. So, I mean that's there we go. So that's uh, pretty much moving uh, all this stuff across the path down here in the layer panel. Now you can come up into your comp panel here and you can see these things on the edge and when you put your uh, selection tool over top of them these are the first and the second margins. Let me flip this uh, back over. So we have our margin tools here also and uh, if you click and hold and drag you can uh, edit your margins that way also. And This is the end margin as you can see down in the layer panel down here if I move this the, the uh, and mar or the last margin there will uh, move uh, the 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 property will change, and it's fumbling with with words there. Still am, jeez. Well, that's uh that's all for the uh, path here, and how to put your uh, text on a path and move it around. So, just thanks for uh, watching this one, everybody. Have a good day.